Welcome guys to a new video, it's a pass paper 2 model, question 5, so we have the following, Ariane plays a game of darts, the distance that her darts land from the center O of the board can be modeled by a normal distribution with mean 10 cm standard deviation of 3 cm, question A, find the probability that a dart lands less than 13 cm from O, ok, so we do have here the normal distribution, let's consider our variable, in this case, the landing distance from O, which is going to be normally distributed with a mean of 10 and the variance of 3 squared. Okay, so we want the probability that this x is going to be less than 13. Okay, so we go to our calculator, we do the normal CDF, we put in the bracket the lower bound, upper bound, all that stuff. So the lower bound I'll put minus infinitive upper bound I'll put 13 the mean is 10 standard deviation is 3 I work this out I would get 0 0.841 to three significant figures now second question is find the probability that the dart lands more than 15 from O so same logic but now I will just write probability that x is above 15 since that's literally the question I use the same distribution the normal CDF my lower bound now is 15 because I have to have at least 15 and then my upper bound is positive infinity my mean is 10 my Sigma is gonna be 3 I work this out and my answer would be 0 0.0478 rounded to three significant figures so that's another one done let's carry on Question B. Each of Ariane's throws is independent from the previous throws. Find the probability that Ariane throws two consecutive darts that land more than 15 centimeters from O. So when we have independent events and we want both of them to occur, we know that the probability of A and B, assuming they're independent, is just probability of A times probability of B. In this case, the event is the same, which happens consecutively. So the probability of the event that we'll be considering will be the probability that Ariane lands more than 15 centimeters from O. So I'm going to do just that, 0 0.0478 times 0 0.0478. That brings us to 0 0.00228. Okay, that concludes one more exercise then we would go to C here's what we have at C in a competition a player has three darts to throw on each turn a point is scored if a player throws all three darts to land within a central area around O when Ariane throws a dart the probability that it lands within this area is 0 0.8143 find the probability that Ariane does not score a point on a turn of three darts okay given that she has three attempts of throwing and the probability of landing in that specific region is 0 0.8143 I'm writing this thingy for question C because they are independent from each other the probability of landing three consecutive times is this number to the power of three however the question is the opposite of that the question is what's the probability of not scoring a point since this is the probability of scoring a point because she would be throwing in that region three times consecutively if we subtract from one we have the probability of not scoring since these are complementary events so I work out this math on my calculator and I would have 0 0.460 rounded to three significant figures so that was question C and for question D we have the following in the competition Ariane has 10 turns each with three darts find the probability that Ariane scores at least five points in the competition okay since we have ten turns and we have three darts for each and the possible outcomes are scoring a point or not scoring a point we can claim that this variable let's call this variable y follows the binomial distribution with 10 as the number of trials and the probability of success let's see what that's gonna be so the probability of success 
should be would be 0 0.8143 to the power 3 which is what we discussed in the previous question that was the probability of scoring so we would take that number which would happen to be 0 0.5 39949 I'm gonna write this number because I want to be more accurate with my answers so I'll be using this number in my binomial distribution and with that being said when we try to answer the question I'll just do find the probability that Ariane scores at least five points I'll just go here probability that this y value is greater than or equal to five now remember she goes greater than or equal to five considering that she has 10 trials so I'll be using the binomial CDF I'll be using the binomial CDF because it's an interval it's above 5 a lower bound an upper bound and the probability of success and the number of trials so I'll do the following in my calculator I'll plug in the number of trials as 10 the probability of success which is this one 0 0.539949 the lower bound is the 5 because I'm including the 5 and the upper bound is 10 since we have at most 10 trials I work this out and we would get 0 0.716650 which would be approximately 0 0.717 rounded to three significant figures okay so this is one answer the second part of D says the following find the probability Ariane scores the second part is to find the probability that Ariane scores at least five points and less than eight points well very similar logic I'm just gonna put the interval above five so at least five greater than or equal to less than eight it doesn't say at most eight it says less than eight so I'll assume strictly less than eight now because we have a binomial distribution we only consider integer values for y since this is a discrete variable so we have to consider the values of 5 6 and 7 I am not including the 8 which means in our calculator we will go for the binomial CDF and I use a very similar process with 10 as the number of trials the 0 5 3 9 9 4 9 as my probability I'm literally taking it from here my lower bound is 5 but my upper bound is 7 not even 8 7 because 7 is the last value included I work this out and this would be and this would be 0 0.627788 which would be roughly 0 0.628 at three significant figures okay now with that being said we go here and we try to finish the question it says given that Ariane scores at least five points find the probability that she scores less than eight so I'm going to put this I'm going to put this into a conditional probability probability that Ariane scores less than eight given that she scores at least five so following the structure of the conditional probability formula I would have probability that y is less than eight and y is greater than or equal to 5 divided by the probability that y is greater than or equal to 5 now here what is the probability of having less than 8 and at least 5 that's exactly what we did in part in the previous part I take the probability computed in the previous part which is 0 0.627788 and then for the denominator the probability that y is at least 5 I'll take it from the first part of question from the first part of the question which is this one 0 0.716650 0 0.716650 I work this out and I would get and I would get 0 0.876 around it to three significant figures hope this all makes sense this concludes the exercise if you like the video please drop it a like if you follow this course, make sure to subscribe. It's going to be full of relevant content to you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.